I worked with Sergio from the time that he ran UN operations for refugees in Geneva to shortly before he, he went to Baghdad. He believed deeply that life is about promoting a humanitarian cause, promoting peace, promoting human rights. And he did it at every hour of the day and with every fiber of his being. I think Sergio, for many, it personified what the UN is about. He believed deeply that the work of the UN is being close to those who need us most in the most remote, the poorest, and the most dangerous parts of the world. We have progressively got much closer to the risk, inserted ourselves in the fighting, and that obviously brings with it huge risk. It is most certainly more dangerous. Over the past 10 years, in only one year, between 100 and 300 humanitarian workers are killed or kidnapped or wounded. This year to date, as of July, 80 humanitarian workers have been killed. And that means that the death toll, the casualty toll among humanitarians, and I mean all humanitarians, not just UN, is actually higher than among UN peacekeepers. The invisible statistic there that we really don't know about is the psychological toll of the work we do. We live some impossible situations where often the humanitarians, like after an earthquake, like what happened in, in Haiti, the, the, those who are meant to help are affected themselves but still expected to continue. You have situations with natural disasters that are more and more like that. And then you have humanitarians witnessing the most awful events and being expected to go on. So there's also a psychological toll, a mental health toll that is not reflected in those statistics. Crises, natural disasters, are no longer freak one-off events that you know, once in, in a generation or once every two or three generations may strike here or there. But that with the impact of climate change and especially in particular areas of the world, those extraordinary events are going to become a regular feature and we have to prepare accordingly. Going beyond humanitarian aid, building livelihoods, promoting good governance, ensuring respect for human rights is, is absolutely critical, as well as building up resilience of these communities, especially in light of a growing number of natural disasters. Sergio was the first senior humanitarian to talk regularly to the Security Council. He helped put the whole issue of protection of civilians, a fundamental human rights issue, on the agenda of the Security Council. That was very salutary and in the conflicts that followed and in some of the conflicts we're dealing with today, some of those things are now taken for granted in a way that would not be the case without Sergio's leadership.